Tonight, the warning signs ignored and the urgent letter sent to residents weeks before the Surfside condo collapsed, saying the building structure was deteriorating quickly. So why weren't repairs made before it was too late? Rescuers move three million pounds of concrete as the search for survivors continues for its sixth day. The beachside vigil for those waiting on word about their loved ones. Plus the radio calls from first responders. The building is gone. Historic and dangerous heat wave from coast to coast. Emergency calls hit a record high out west as roads buckle, pools close, and air conditioners are in short supply. Will the Independence Day weekend be a scorcher? Masks making a comeback? Why one of the biggest counties in the U.S. wants everyone to wear masks indoors? Gas prices soar. Could what you pay at the pump go up even more ahead of the holiday weekend? And the concerns about possible fuel outages in some places. The advice you need before filling up. Paying student athletes. As the NCAA gets ready to allow new compensation for athletes, how star players are getting ready to cash in. Insulin savings. Walmart's announcement that could save diabetes patients up to 75%. Tournament ending injury. Serena Williams is out at Wimbledon. What happened during her first round match that forced the tennis star to quit? And Field of Dreams. Why this 70 year old's major league debut was six decades in the making. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin tonight with new details on the investigation 